Hey, it's CJ from SmartKTai.com, and today we're putting the HTC Evo 4G through its paces with a variety of benchmark utilities. We're doing this because the Evo recently received an over-the-air update that supposedly removes the 30 frames per second graphics limitation that HTC themselves put on the device. If true, it should make the device perform better. To what degree, I'm not sure, but hey, we'll take any improvements, right? Now I've already applied the 3.29.651.5 update which was released late at night on September 22nd I believe so my Evo should be ready to rock. Now before I updated I went ahead and performed these same tests for comparison's sake so I'll make some annotations throughout the video and note them in the description below as well. Alright let's get started. So as you can see, uh, I'm in advanced task killer right now and I have no apps running so everything should be good. So before we get to the hardcore benchmarks, I wanted to show you an improvement I've noticed right away. So you can see that navigating through screens and menus that it's fast, it seems faster to me at least and I've noticed that there's a uh, no more touch input lag let me show you what I mean so this is a multi-touch test just shows where you're placing your fingers on the screen now I'm using this to show something else before when I put my finger here now keep in mind the circle follows the finger wherever it goes you see how it's keeping up with my finger pretty well I mean it it trails just a little bit but even if I go fast it's kinda of staying right there now previously before the update there would be I don't know like a good uh, inch and a half or two inches of it just lagging behind which is pretty annoying to see visually and to experience uh, playing uh, video games so it's good to see that the lag although it might not be completely gone I don't know if you can do that on Android. I haven't tried it on other Android devices but it's good to see that it's been reduced dramatically. Alright so let's go ahead and move on to the benchmarks. The first one is Gears. It's a pretty basic utility here. Now the key number you want to look at is down here. You see how it says 54 frames per second? Well before the update it was actually around I believe like 28 or 29 somewhere around there so it's almost doubled so that's good to see let's get out of there next one is FPS 2D now this one there's a dramatic difference in the test as well before we would have all these all these bars would be over here on the left and now it's more in the middle and they're green instead of red and we can see it's averaging out at 52 which before it was around 28 so that's good as well go back and this is the Limpack utility let's run the benchmark so this is a speed test that shows results in uh, mflops or millions of floating point operations per second no idea what that means but it gives us some results at the end Alright, it looks like it's at 33.162. Let's get out of there and we'll go to NeoCore. Now NeoCore shows some robots and explosions and tanks and all that good stuff. And then it gives you a result at the end. So I'll go ahead and start it up. And it's like watching sort of a game trailer. You know, I never noticed, but that appears to be uh, the Tokyo Tower in the background there in Tokyo, Japan. It's pretty neat because I was actually there this summer. Anyway, I'll let you get back to watching.
All right, so 28.4. I think the previous uh, score was a 20, 25 point something or 26. I think it was 25, so that's an improvement of three digits, so that's good. Let's get out of here. And we'll go on to the next one, which is Nina Mark. So I'll go ahead and run this. I'm not sure if we'll see any improvement in this. But it looks good, so I'll run it. This one uses programmable shades for graphical effects such as reflections, dynamic shadows, uh, parametric surfaces, particles, and different light models to push the GPO, GPU to its limits. Alright, so the music fading out probably imp implies that it's about finished. There we go, 14.6 and we'll go to quadrant okay that's not good we'll try that again and we will run the full benchmark Now after this finishes doing what it's doing, it's going to show us some visuals. Alright, there we go. And it should switch to the 3D maze. looks like it's moving through it faster and here we have some planets a DNA strand we'll hit yes alright so those are the results it looks like it says 1189 so let's go out and we'll go to and 3d benchmark now this one takes quite a while so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward the video uh, what it does is it run seven tests from fill rate to complex scenes so I'll see you in a second alright so it looks like the 3d bench is done we have the results here and a total score of 4687 alright so that's uh, I believe quite an improvement we'll go ahead and exit so these were performance tests after updating to the September 22nd software release for the EVO 4G. As you just saw, the 30 frames per second cap has been lifted and the EVO is putting out better numbers than before overall. Also, the touch input lag is gone, so that's fantastic to see and experience. So that's it for this video. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash smartktai for more Android news and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Lots more content to come, so we'll see you later on.